Friday at Knoxville. I'm gonna get an award and then maybe Sunday head get on New York your head and then um, after that chamon <laughs> winchasam good to get us tunes come across Carol Kurkarnes on Mangi share Achjan this is a trip from New York to Tennessee about eight and a half hour and this is New York
Hey doctor, you know that we are in Virginia, it's not Washington. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. So this is our first stop. Uh, oops. In Virginia for a lunch from the trip from New York. Uh, so he might span it Zangan and get a group thing. Soup, pizza, macaroni cheese, chipotle. Enjoy it, Achik. We are still in Virginia. Virginia countryside. It's beautiful, my kind of place. My but kind of, Gotham, your kind of place, city, no? I know, but my kind of place, you didn't let me finish. No. Only for one day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, two days. Yeah, same. Yeah. One day is not enough for two days. Natural Bridge Cavern. Natural Bridge Cavern. Two Sengege exit Hangare 81. We exited 81 and going to Natural Bridge. In nowhere in Virginia. Oh, I said that my kinaka. This is a road trip. Natural Bridge. So it's gonna take us altogether one and a half hour. Should we take the tour? 
No, I have to show my lips and You pet them because it's not good for immunocompromised. Okay, that's cool. Welcome to Tennessee. After a heavy rain on the way to Kingsport, Tennessee. After John, we are in Kingsport. A quarter of a mile. Exit right. Four miles. Oxygen. Where? Emergency, Emergency stop for beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight. Getting close to Cumberland Gap. After we check my cage, I'm going to go to Cumberland Gap. And I'll go very nice. Can't see you not go very at the cafe and on them. Cumberland Gap, Tennessee. Uh, yeah. Here you go, Cumberland Gap, Tennessee.
Oops, you promise? Oh, I see Sir and Jura. Dad. Hi, nice to meet you. Good to meet nice. you. Thanks, I'm sir. Amy. It's nice, nice to meet you. you. We're so glad you're here. Nice, nice to meet you, Doctor. Can we get you something? <laughs> um, you guys hungry? Hungry. hungry the food, the food is really good. It is. We have a menu right here. You can we just look at it. If you want to yeah. look and tell me what you want, I'll go in and see the one. Yeah, I'll have to do that. Don't have a 200. How's each one? 200. What was that? I'm just like to document my daughter's trip. <laughs> Do you know Lisa? Do you remember Lisa? I remember Lisa, Lisa yeah. yeah. A long time. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Oh, good to see you. <laughs> Congratulations on the award. Thank you. You definitely uh, deserve it. My, my uh, dad. dad. <laughs> it's nice dad. to meet you. Dad, dad, driver, what dad else? Driver. <laughs> Camera operator. Camera operator documenting <laughs> her trip. So. Exactly. He documents everything. <laughs> yeah. So um, the flight was going to be longer than if we just drove. And then he loves like road tripping, so he thought might as well. And my parents like come and stay with me often in New York, especially after. You know, I just got my hips replaced. <laughs> All these other things. Amy, please explain why are we here. We are here because Elaine is getting the LMU Young Alumnus of the Year Award for 2021. That's my daughter. That is your daughter. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and, and, this, and we are in Cumberland Gap? We're in Cumberland Gap, Tennessee. Yes. Oh, and, and we have Dr. Chris Boyke, who's the Dean of DCOM. Glad to have you here. Rick Slavin, the Director of Students at DCOM. Lisa Shelburne, the Director of Career Services. And? Yes, I'm Michael Whiting. I'm the Senior Associate Dean at DCOM. Very good. And my, do my daughter, Dr. Aline Gragosian. Proud of you, daughter. Yeah, thank you. Those are things that you've, in your interviews and that you've done for other people in your situation is... Thank you. When, when you, you know, when you Google your name. Oh yeah. The number of, <laughs> because I've done it. I'm sorry. When you the number of things that you see, all the interviews and articles you've done, to advocate for organ donation, um, and just showing how to make the best of the situation, like it's just amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you were just, you were bad to the bone. That's what we say. <laughs> yes, she is. Bad to the bone. As I was like trying to meet, and I was like vomiting, like I just, I did not look good at all. They walked you down the steps. I, no, I walked myself down the steps. And met up in the parking lot. <laughs> so, so you, so you had Some of your friends. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, and, and I, so I went to, we went to like the little ER here. They didn't even have the CAT scanner. Like the CAT scan was down that day, so they transferred me over to some other hospital. Was it Claiborne County? Is there a hospital? Did you start, did you start yeah. at Middlesboro and wind up at Claiborne? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then the the doctor on call was doc was Dr. Rose. Was yep. he? Yeah. Is he still he's is he still practicing? Yeah, he's a surgeon. No, he's, no, he's retired. So at that time, he was like part of our faculty because he did yes. lectures yes. for us. Yes. Yes. He's on the board of trustees now. Yeah. Oh yes. my God. Yeah. So I remember he came in. And he was like, yeah, he's, and he was so, I mean, he's very old school. He was like, I don't even need, he's like, I don't even need a hat scan. It's very obviously not like appendicitis. Like, he's taking the bar right now. That would be Dr. Rose. And, and I think they did like an ultrasound, which showed like it was an ovarian or something. But they, they ended up doing a CAT scan. And by then I was like dying. But I remember the only thing I could do was email Dr. Leo like on my phone. And I was like, I have an exam in three hours, but I can't make it because <laughs> I'm having surgery. surgery. I'm going to surgery. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> and that's actually, I said, this considered excuse. Uh, the, the whatever that comes with that, the little. Because you, if you so remember, we were going to do all of that. We were going to do all that pre-COVID, yeah. right? Yeah, we can still do it. I would love for you to come. Yeah, back. we should do it like 
sometimes. Yeah, we had, we had you. We had you on the schedule. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And I think when we did the next. So um, my boards are like mid November, but basically sometime next year we can. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. How would you like to be the for our next ceremony? We usually induct a class. I think we're gonna do an April. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to be a guest speaker? Gap Creek Coffee House. Oh, So, how many steps do you do? Two. Two. Well, four, but two. Thank you. Is that one of the DJI? Awesome, yeah. Those are nice. Very nice, yeah. Because you can put your phone in there too, right? Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. We need some group photos. Thank you. 
finishing the prayer of the and got hit with an illness. Uh, I had to deal with that when I finished the prayer of the and I felt like, so here I am, saving lives, which isn't that big of a deal, I don't think. Um, I think what really, I think what really, really matters more than that is um, everything that I've learned in becoming a physician uh, isn't just about saving lives, it's really about making that bigger impact. Um, I know it sounds really corny, but, you know, in all honesty, I think that everything that I learned with me when I was a medical student here, kind of, I took with me as I went through the rest of my journey with medicine. Um, you know, being a physician is so much more. It's about just learning how to make a difference in people's lives, despite the struggles that you go through, uh, and making connections with people every day. Um, and I think, again, that all, you know, my journey in this life really did start with me being here. Um, I really want to thank, you know, everybody here at LMUD.com, uh, the faculty, the staff, my professors, the attendees who taught me everything, um, my friends, my family, my parents, my dad right here, who are doing everything since day one. <laughs> um, but most of all, I think, uh, I'd like to thank my board member. I've gotten many awards, you know, since my dream plan two years ago. I've been working with the blue ski, my board member, and I am here today. Um, I got very, very sick and I really needed a heart two years ago, so this is a moment for her. Ach, Schatz, hier und da. This is beautiful.